Look at that goatee. Goodness gracious. That yeah, do not enter in Ukrainian. Abandoned gasoline truck. Oh my gosh, bro. That goes so far. That's at least 400 to 500 yards. You hear it? You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you you can't do it. What is up my Back to Life family? Part two of visiting Chernobyl, okay? So this is actually called Chernobyl number two. So this was a secret area, a secret town area um, where <laughs> she was telling the stories where nobody would know about this and if you knew that this area existed that means you were like a western spy so you were coming over here and they had checkpoints set up to where like if you got past the first checkpoint that means that you actually killed the security guard and then the next security guard had official what orders to be able to kill you like it's crazy so this was like the secret hideout um and they tried to cover it up with what she said like a secret kids camp Abandoned like kids an camp. abandoned kids camp like oh it's out of service like you can't come here anymore winding road so um it's really crazy um and they had like fake bus stops and everything along the way um and there's stray dogs out here already just to let y'all know i'll show you here in a second um the buildings um and there's a bunch of tourists out here obviously but it's kind of crazy or is that a stray dog or is that somebody's dog yeah i think that's a stray dog maybe oh. That dog speaks Ukrainian. Um, so yeah, check out this building right here. Well, I thought somebody was smoking some uh, marijuana for a second. Uh, but yeah, look at this building right here. This is a real building though. So I guess this is where they check in. Who's that guy? I don't know. Is that Stalin? No. <laughs> Who's this guy? Somebody that had to do with the Soviet Union. Look at this, y'all. Look at that goatee. Goodness gracious. Let me check what, he, what his level is. Let me see. Right now we're at 0 0.23. 0 0.22. Okay. It's getting a little hotter out here. So you're at 0.24. Is it a contaminator? Yeah, I don't know. It's 0.24. It's pretty clean. <laughs> What's a good number? Less than point. Honestly, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> What's this sign say? Look, y'all, this is like forbidden territory. Prohida Zabornist Territoria. Prohid Zaboroneno Territoria. Yeah, do not enter in Ukrainian. Or Russian, or one or the other. Oh, hello. So yeah, y'all, this is pretty crazy stuff here. I love that song. All abandoned stuff back there. Pretty crazy. So we're about to enter. Там мы в туалет идем, что-то уже начинается. О, пошлось. Окей, я. О, look at these contaminated. <laughs> look at these contaminated. Look at these contaminated berries. Let's eat one. No, I'm just playing. Don't want to do that. So this building's actually in good shape. What do you think? This That's is not bad. Yeah, look at. Well, it. hey, when you're nice master ma master builders, <laughs> nice mason work, you know. Come on. Got some petroleum left over. Whatever you need, they got it. Got bathrooms. Of these course. Are, these are still left over yeah. from the Hold on, this is some crazy stuff. I'll be back, I'll be back. I won't leave you. Check this out, y'all. Abandoned gasoline truck. Well, petroleum, I think is what they call it. Is that a storage unit? Abandoned storage unit. That used to be a truck. I mean, and this street just keeps going. Let's see what's in this door. Bunch of firewood, I think. All right, y'all, so as we're walking through the woods, I guess you could call it, they had these paths made out of different concrete sections so that if one went bad, they could just replace them. So obviously, super smart people. I mean, the Soviets, like, this is real in-depth stuff. And look, they hid this radar tower, which is called a Doha, is what she said. And they hid it with all of these different trees. And this was one of those things, you did not ask about it. You did not look for it. You did not ask about it because if you did, um, the KGB would come ask you questions and after you get asked questions by the KGB it usually doesn't end well You're either going to Siberia or you're going underground. So it's one or the other. Um, it's pretty crazy to be exact um, And you just see like the buildings are like as you get closer and closer more abandoned um, 
torn down i mean they're still standing like that's really good so whoever built these and whoever was the brick mason out here did a darn good job y'all yeah, check this out sorry i was speaking ukrainian my dad's actually a brick mason for 45 years started in ukraine so i can appreciate that this building is still standing after degum looting and everything else going on this is crazy oh my gosh those are huge jeez look at those like that's a at least 12 to 14 inch pipe that's a huge pipe bro like that is no joke yeah i want to climb up there yeah right that'd be so cool so these were uh radars so just to give you all an idea they said it was a radar so that they would intercept missile signals so they were letting people know like hey we know when you send a missile and if you send a missile we're gonna send a missile back that's what they told us um unreal y'all check this out crazy views right here i mean absolutely unreal and the stories behind how all this stuff works when they talk about the soviets kgb and all that stuff this is real stuff probably not y'all so check this out what does it say e Kluch. Kluch. Um. <laughs> Not sure what that means. <laughs> Not Make sure. Smoke stack, something going on. Oh my gosh, bro, that goes so far. Bro, I can only imagine how creepy this was back in the day. They're just soldiers walking around in their uniforms with their guns. They're just like, they're just freaking walking around, ready to blast someone's head off, bro. Crazy, unreal. You don't mess with the Soviets, bro. I would tell you that straight up. My parents are from Ukraine. You don't mess with the Soviets. Look at this. Are you freaking kidding me? Like this intercepted literal missiles from other, you know, people they were at war with. That is unreal. Absolutely unreal. I mean, there's people out here working. I don't know what they're working on. It might be something else going on. I guess you can't cross over right there. So I'm not sure where I'm headed, but I'm headed somewhere. Oh, this is crazy. I mean, look at this transformer box. That can't be healthy. I mean, if a transformer box looks like that, you know these. Hold on, I think we gotta go around. Can we go? No, we probably can't go under there. So, what is this? Oh, it's just a black hole that you fall in and disappear in. Y'all, crazy. Okay, I think we go this way. Look how far that building actually goes. So y'all were looking into that hallway. Unreal, man. And like I said, this is Chernobyl 2. So this is not even the main city. Like this was the one where everything was kept a secret. This is, they literally told us on the bus. She was, the tour guide was telling us. She said that if you started asking questions, they would literally come to your house, ask you questions. And I've heard these stories, like from my parents and stuff. Like they did not play around. You want to ask them some questions? Okay. Okay, we'll see. And we'll see how far that gets you. I mean, look at this. We're like, we have been walking for what? 30, 40, 50, 50 yards, maybe a hundred feet already. And this is not ending, not even close. Someone has a drone out here. This is unreal, y'all. Look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna need his drone footage for my vlog though. Look at this, y'all. Bro. Turn around, turn around, dude. Unreal, now I see why they call themselves some of the smartest and most powerful people in the world, man. Yeah, I need that drone footage. Like, can you drop box me that? I test him. <laughs> but seriously though, oh my gosh, yo, look at this. Unreal, unreal, unreal. So much goes into this much engineering architecture i mean the the thought process behind all of this i mean it's a nuclear power plant you can only imagine what was going on how much energy was being produced this is unreal like absolutely mind-blowing first of all but the stories about the soviets and the kgb and how things worked i mean golly bum here let me I'm trying to back out as far as i possibly can for y'all to get the best view here but look at this i'm doing my best let me see. I'm going to walk back a little bit further. I mean, this is unreal, folks. Absolutely unreal. And I'll actually walk a little bit further down over there. 
but I wanted to get over here. I mean, like, look, there's nothing but trees, nothing but, matter of fact, let's see what this uh, Geiger counter is telling me. Oh, that's going up. It says 0.27. Let me let it readjust. It's beeping. Hey, did you check your Geiger counter? Huh? Did you check your counter? Mine's at 0.28. 0.29, bro. Oh, 0.3. Oh, shoot. It's going to keep beeping. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, that means we got trouble. That means we got trouble. Radar, radar, radar. Missile incoming, missile incoming. Jeez. Okay, let me try to go a little bit further down, run away from this radiation. Okay, y'all, so we've walked at this point, what do you think, a whole football field? At least, at least a whole football field. Not even halfway done yet. Right. There's a whole nother football field and a half, maybe two more football fields, uh, American football, if you're watching this video. So 100 yards, 120 yards. We pr This is, bro, this gotta be 100, 200. That's at least 400 to 500 yards, which is times three, 1,500 feet, okay? Like, no joke, that's how big this this radar tower is. I mean, this, yeah, you can only imagine what kind of energy is coming through that right there. Somebody spliced it. <laughs> they were going to take it to the junkyard, and the junkyard was like, no, nah, man, we don't want no radioactive metal. All right, so we're going to keep moving. My Geigo meter finally relaxed. It's back to 0 0.27. It was at 0 0.32, and it wouldn't shut up. Um, it's crazy. I, I don't know if I'm like, got to shake off the radioactiveness when we get back to the bus. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, literally, like show them again how we do it. That's literally what this is. It's like, called just, the radiation dam. Yeah, it's the, it's the RD. They're like, what are you doing, the RD? What kind of move is that? <laughs> it's the radiation dance. <laughs> it's very specific. So we're out here. Good. It feels like I'm this book cable. It feels like I'm walking a marathon right now. But this is absolutely humongous like they knew if a missile was coming no jokes you're doing a great job thank you. no thank you phenomenal Прекрасно. Roboto. For me that you enjoyed. oh thank you y'all it's absolutely unreal the secrets the the interesting facts that we're getting it's just stuff that will blow your literal mind if you know nothing about how things work over in the ukraine or russia or what was the soviet union at one point i mean unreal stuff here and it's starting to get like cold so i'm like man this must be what it feels like in in siberia and it's literally barely blowing any wind so a little over exaggerating oh look i just saw him walk in that door we're going hold on y'all there's a door open there's a door open i just saw him walk through it we're definitely going in there we're gonna do what we're gonna do because y'all got to get the best content like this is back to life i'm trying to teach y'all something i'm trying to give y'all knowledge the soviet knowledge here don't get electrocuted i wonder if this stuff is still hot Check this out, y'all. Probably not. Oh, but he's not a rapper, though. Mm -hmm. There's an elevator lift thingy. Literally elevator. <coughs> this ain't bad, man. They did a good job. Man, imagine building all this stuff. Oh, it's time to go back. I'm gonna head back this way. There's no way that's the same building, bro. I'm telling you, it is. 450, 500 yards? Yeah, I guess it's for the building. We need to walk through one way back. No shot, bro. That thing is huge. I'm not walking through all these trees. That's a no for me. Bye. <laughs> You're going to hate it. Just You might as well turn around now. Y'all, this place is unreal. Like, if you get a chance... Come see Chernobyl, okay? Um, this is just, like I told you, I'm doing a series for all this. So I'm, I'm doing all the different parts, all the different villages that we're going into. Um, this is just part two, literally. And um, I think there was, I'm not sure how many villages they said we needed to stop into, but each village has its own story. Each village has its own prominence, like what's going on, why it happened. Um, if there was people resettling, I mean, people literally were evacuated and they were like, no, 
just telling us a story. Some people were like, I'm coming back. They had no uh, government supply of like electricity, no water, no nothing. And they still came back. And then finally in the 2000s, um, I forget which president she said, um, actually gave them like a stipend because he thought it was just like the coolest story. They left everything else. And some of those people were living till 95 years old. They had no stress. They were blessed. Um, there was the radioactive waves and stuff, but it kind of makes me wonder like, was something else going on besides that or what? Because people that left, they were dying at like 60, 65 years old. The people that came back to resettle were dying at 90, 95. Hmm. Maybe this is the, <gasps> maybe this is the fountain of youth, radioactive waves. Oh my gosh. You hear it? Maybe this is the fountain of youth, radioactive waves. They were living till 95 years old, not 60 like most of the people who evacuated. Maybe it was population control. I just got goosebumps saying that. I gotta be careful what I say out here for real. You think they're not tracking people? Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, we're gonna get back over there and uh, I'll show you some more stuff. Hopefully, if I can find my way out of here. Alrighty, y'all, Chernobyl 2, the secret KGB radar. Well, I was about to end the video. There's a fence back there and I wonder where that goes. But no, it's time, it's time. It's time to end the video. Chernobyl 2, this is the end of this part. I mean, that radar tower to intercept the missiles from enemy um, countries or whatever you wanna call it, when they were in the Cold War and all this stuff. I mean, my thing's still beeping. I can't get this thing shut up. It's at 0 .34 right now. And um, I can't wait to show you part three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how many parts we're doing this, but this is a whole Chernobyl series. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at Nico TJR and at Slavic Nico on TikTok. If you haven't yet, check out shopbacktolife.com. Grab you some merch, support the movement, my Back to Life family. I will see you on the next part of this Chernobyl tour. Peace. Thank you.